Hey guys, this is Captain Phil from the Goose Hummock. Uh, for today's fishing report, it's a breezy Tuesday, the 23rd. Uh, we just post the uh, tornado that went through. Uh, shops, great. Uh, our thoughts out to everybody that got hit. There's a lot of trees and things down on the Cape. Uh, there's a lot going on on the fishing scene as well, actually. Yeah. So here goes. Offshore, um, you've seen some of our videos. The canyons are on fire. Uh, we had a great trip the other day. We had three big ice of 73 inches. We had, I don't know, we lost count of the yellowfin. Uh, 50, 60 yellowfin. We lost marlin. Uh, the canyons are on fire if you can get out there. The bar's working great. The hoo was working great. Daisy chain's working great. Um, looking forward to getting out there again. Obviously, with this weather at the moment, it's about eight foot out at the moment, so nobody's going. Further, uh, let's go a little bit inshore. The, the tuna bite is really good. The commercial guys are killing it. They're having a fantastic time. There's a lot of big fish out there. Doesn't matter if you're down the sword, crab ledge, up on the bank. It's all producing fish. Um, some of the guys are actually getting them on uh, live baits. Some are actually getting them on kites as well. So it's really fun to catch. Um, for the recreational guys, what's really encouraging is there's some, a body of smaller fish moving in. Uh, great customers, Dave and Sue had a 56 inch fish trolling the Widowmaker, another customer, Brian, he had a 60 inch fish. So people are actually starting to catch tuna on bars now, which is fantastic, because the last couple of years, the bar bite's been uh, quite quiet. It's lovely having the fish up in the water. Uh, uh, we think now there's a bigger body of fish moving in in the recreational category, some 25 to 65, 70 inch fish. I think everybody on the run and gun and the troll are gonna have some really good fishing in the next week or two out there. Uh, try Easter Chatham all the way up through the bank. If you're uh, looking for striped bass, the bite is fantastic still. Cape Cod Bay is fishing really well. The Rips is fishing really well. Um, if you're fishing the bay, fish early in the morning. Um, in the heat of the day, the fish are going out and they're hunkering in the depths. If you have got a boat, Billings Bait's doing fine. Just check for the deeper water. Uh, wireline jigging's working really well. Tube and worms working really well. And if you haven't tried it, try the Mojo rig. Mojo is a great way of getting really deep down in the water uh, to get those fish that are stuck to the bottom in the colder water. Uh, we sell them in the store. There's actually an article on how to fish them on our websites. Check that out on goose.com. Um, great news as well is the bluefish. Uh, bluefish haven't been around for a couple of years. There's some absolute slammers in Cape Cod Bay at the moment. Uh, one of my captains had uh, over 500 pounds of them on a commercial day. Um, up to 38 inches, so some real honking bluefish. Great sporting fish, just watch your fingers. Again, if you're fishing in the bay, use a net to land your fish. Don't stick out your hands over the side of the boat. Uh, I know there's a great video of one of the captains, Elise. Uh, it's been out on CNN of a, a striped bass getting taken by a great white off the back of the boat. Um, just use a net. Bay's fishing great. The Rips is fishing really well still. For the last two months now, for a really long time, the Rips has fished great. So live mackerel's working great in there. They're chasing squid, so use squid pattern lures. We sell the rip squid, which you actually can use in the rips. Um, so, so there's a lot of different techniques. If you are fishing from the beach, again, if you're fishing on the bayside beaches, fish early in the morning uh, whilst it's still cool. And if you're out on the ocean, again, most stage of the tides is working. I like to fish the high water if I'm fishing off the beaches uh, off of Norset. And don't be afraid to go up on the creeks. Um, some of the bluefish will be moving around. Stripers are in there. I saw stripers busting in Town Cove just yesterday. Uh, on the freshwater scene, um, one of my colleagues, uh, Mark, who works for me, who's up from Florida on our summer staff, Mark was killing the smallies in sheep spawn the other day. Um, so the, the, the largemouth and the smallmouth bass fishing is really good. Um, you can actually uh, get into some trout, but they're really only in the deeper water with this heat. So your best target the largest and the smallest. Um, that's it really from the fishing side of things. We have got a couple of great things. North Coast, I'm stood by one. We're a main dealer for North Coast. Come and have a look at them. They're a fantastic boat. And the last thing I want to say, if you're around town and looking for something to do this evening, I've got Captain Austin Gallagher from Beneath the Waves. He's coming to do a, a lecture seminar actually at the shop on tagging the sharks. Uh, we have a lot of sharks in the area. Uh, come and speak to one of the experts who's looking at them from a conservation perspective. It's going to be in our outdoor centre starting at 6.30 tonight. We'd love to see you down there. Uh, come and have a chat with Austin, see some videos, see some work he's doing. Uh, we've even got a couple of sharks that we tagged last year. I think he's showing a video of shark goose, which is a 400 pound poor beagle. 
and he's actually got the track lines of where everything uh, this shark we tagged on my boat last year we can actually see where it's been anyway that's me checking out uh, enjoy the rest of your day thanks for listening get out on the water soon thank you very much